Keisha Chant recently discussed the beginnings of her feud with Bo Wow on The Brandon Ganesh Show. Welcome back, it's your host Nancy Brown. If you are new here, make sure you have subscribed to our YouTube channel. And he was like, I want this girl in my music video for mm. shorty like mine. She said that she had been chosen to appear in one of his music videos, but after she declined his invitation to hang out at his hotel, her team informed her that Angela Simmons had been chosen in her stead. Uh. Bao doesn't want you to be the lead girl of shorty like mine anymore. Ba she claims that Chris Brown then visited her trailer to inform her that she could instead appear in one of his videos. Yeah. He's like, well, you'll be my lead girl then. Keisha described how the feud remained even after she started hosting hosting 106 in Park and continued for years. She said, He was mad as hell. He just kept hazing me. She continued by claiming that Bo Wow would purposely make her forget her lines in an effort to avenge her. He would say my line yeah. or mess up his line or When they interviewed Bo Wow, Chant claims that Drake was able to speak well of her on his behalf and finally the situation calmed down. Aubrey's the one mm -hmm. that co-signed me to bow. Yeah. She later disclosed on social media that they had spoken over the phone following her interview. When Keisha claimed that her account of what occurred was only a misunderstanding, it was clear that the two of them were getting along well. I love Bo and he's been nothing but respectful towards me over the last 10 plus years, she wrote. Bo Wow responded to her explanation, writing Love You Too Quiche. However, it seems like Bo Wow has an altogether different version of what transpired between the two of them. She know like I know I have so much shit on her. He recently responded to her charges on social media by labeling them as bullshit and a surprising turn of events. Since there are always two sides to every tale, it's likely that the two of them are simply recalling differing accounts of what actually occurred. Having said that, it is evident that Bo Wow is upset with Keisha's portrayal of him. And then I wake up, and then I see some bullshit. According to Bow Wow, he never intended for Chan to be in the video, and only changed the casting after feeling pressured by his label to promote other artists through his own music. He continues by saying that if he had invited her to stay at his hotel, it was just because he always extended invitations to the women featured in his videos to build chemistry. What do you make of Bow Wow's retort to Keisha Chan's remarks regarding their dispute? Comment below with your opinions, and check back soon for additional information. That's it for today, thanks for watching. Tell us what you think in the comment section and most importantly subscribe. See you.